Hey everybody, it's Knox from The Bunker. Um, I wanted to do a real quick video here to talk about uh, a security kind of vulnerability, uh, just a, something that everybody needs to be aware of with Comfy UI. And I absolutely love Comfy UI. It is an amazing tool uh, to be able to build uh, AI generated images locally on your machine with your local hardware. It's been around for a while, uh, several months now, which is you know a long time in the AI world. And uh, if we look here, here's the here's the GitHub page for Comfy UI. It's got 37,000 stars. Uh, it's just super popular. I've used it. I like it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, what it allows you to do is it allows you to use this grid-based modular uh, approach to using stable diffusion in a GUI inside a browser. And so you can see here these, these little components that you put together, right? And so the thing is, is that Comfy UI with all these components can get really complicated really fast. So as you can see here, I just pulled up a workflow here. And uh, I think I'm, from looking at this, it just looks like uh, you, you're creating an image and the image is, here's the first one, and then you're upscaling, and then by the time you upscale and come all the way through the workflow, you come out with this beautiful image down at the bottom. So see, each one of these little modules here, not all of these are standard with Comfy UI. Some of them are made by users. So users are contributing these little modules here, and, and you've got to be able to add them uh, in to be able to use them with Comfy UI. Well, a lot of people who are using Comfy UI are not uh, familiar with using Git. They're not familiar with being able to add things like this uh, into the structure. If I go back over here to Comfy UI, you can see there is a modules folder where you would put these modules in. So you get them from somewhere else, uh, assuming, you know, possibly from another GitHub repo, and you put them inside this modules folder. And if you put them in here, then they become usable for you to add into your workflows. So because of that, now there is a tool that's been around also for a long time now called the Comfy UI Manager. Now what the Comfy UI Manager does is it does a lot of this uh, quality of life stuff in Comfy UI for you so that you don't have to do it. Well, one of the things that it does is it kind of helps you to be able to handle uh, modules. So if we look here, just this little picture, you can see here, install missing custom nodes. And this is where the whole danger really gets uh, big. Because anytime you're downloading uh, code from the internet, you should make sure that you have vetted it, checked it out, and make sure that you're not downloading malware onto your machine. And so what happens is, I'm actually gonna jump ahead here uh, for a second. Uh, so over here, this is, uh, any of you who know me know I love my diagrams. So this diagram here, here, here's Comfy UI, and we just saw that you have to have these modules, and you get the Comfy UI Manager. Now what's really convenient is I made this image with Comfy UI. Well, Comfy UI embeds the data to be able to describe the workflow you used in the image. So it's in the image here, this workflow. So if I take this image and I drag it on to Comfy UI, it will try to recreate the workflow that created this image. Really convenient, right? Because that's an easy way for people to be able to say, hey, look at this super cool image I made with Comfy UI. Here, let me give it to you. You, you, you just uh, drag the image onto your copy of Comfy UI and it pops up. But then immediately you get a broken modules because the person who made this image probably has some custom modules that you don't have. Well, guess what? You're in luck because if you've got the Comfy UI Manager installed, that's when you click Install Missing Custom Nodes. And then if we go back, Comfy UI Manager will go out to GitHub and grab all the, all the custom nodes that you don't already have installed and install them for you. Now, the only problem with that is, is Comfy UI Manager is doing zero, zero uh, security checks on these. And that's not their responsibility. There's nothing wrong with, with Comfy UI Manager. It's just they're doing it for ease. Uh, it's on you to make sure that they're secure. So what I saw last night uh, when I was looking around on, on X was 
uh, I saw a tweet about a and and I about a malicious module. And it's funny, I talked to one of my coworkers about this recently and said, man, that that would be a good attack vector because everybody's downloading all these comfy UI modules and not giving it another thought. And sure enough, it's happened. So here on this PSA, um, it this this is a lengthy. You can you can go find it on Reddit. Uh, these guys discuss this module. First, the discussion is about, is it really, you know, uh, bad or not? And I love this down here. This is why we can't have nice things. And it's like, yep, exactly. You know, we, it's, it is, Comfy UI is great, but people are going to take advantage of it. I saw another um, example of somebody that was trying to run a crypto miner in the browser. I assume Monero because it was a browser. Uh and and I tried to click on that one, and the article wasn't coming up, so that's unsubstantiated. But that would be another good idea, uh, because it's running in in a, in a web browser, and uh, you could try to use some crypto mining um, and try to mine in the browser uh, with JavaScript. So uh, anyway, my my uh, point for this whole video was just to point out: look, uh, you got to be careful with some of these new AI tools. Uh, guys are coding really fast. It's really awesome. It's good stuff. But the problem is, is that you've still got to make sure you're checking the code. You've got to make sure that you're not downloading something that is going to infect your machine. Uh, in this particular case, this one from uh, Reddit here, uh, this one was a key logger. There was a, they found a key logger installed in it. So it was logging your keystrokes once you, once you installed it. And uh, of course, we all know that's very bad. And so we just got to be careful and make sure that we are aware of what we're downloading. So anyway, just wanted to record a quick video about this and uh, help you guys be educated on what's out there. Have a great day.